Dear friend, you are welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about the various types of RCDs available, how to be able to identify each of them, and then how to select the appropriate type for a specific application. The growth of electrical system applications, such as the use of variable speed drives for motor control and photovoltaic installations which come with the use of inverters, among others, has resulted in residual currents that are not purely sinusoidal. And so now, there are different types of RCDs that you can choose from, depending on the type of loads you have in your wiring, to be able to protect your wiring appropriately. And so the IEC 60755 standard defines four types of residual current devices for AC applications. And each of these types of RCDs addresses a different type or a combination of residual current waveforms that may arise from electrical installations depending on the presence of DC components or different frequencies. All right, so the four types of RCDs as defined by the IEC 60577 standard are the type AC, the type A, the type F, and then the type B. So how will I be able to identify these various types of RCDs and how would I know where to use which one? Actually, there are symbols that identify each of the RCD types. All right, so let's look at the various symbols that identify the various types of RCDs. So in the table, you see the type in the first column, then the symbol in the second column, and then where they can be applied in the last column. All right, so the first type we are talking about is the type AC. So anytime you pick an RCD or an RCBO, and then you see this symbol on it, this simply tells you that this is a type AC RCD or RCBO. And this type of RCD is used where the fourth current is expected to be sinusoidal and at the same frequency as the supply. So examples of the types of loads where type AC RCD will be useful are immersion heaters, ovens, electric showers, tungsten or halogen lighting, and these systems must not come with electronic parts. That is simply what it says. Then we move to the second one, which is type A. So the type A is also identified by this symbol. The type A can be used in single phase circuits with electronic components. Example of these electronics components are single phase inverters, class 1 IT and multimedia equipment, appliances such as washing machine, and then others. This type of RCD can also withstand a superimposed smooth DC current up to 6 milliamp, and they will also detect the sinusoidal residual current that the type AC can. So when you look at the type A RCD, it can also work perfectly wherever the type AC can work, but it has an additional advantage of being able to work on single phase rectifying circuits, which could create a pulsating DC residual current. Then we move to the type F. Type F is also identified by this symbol. Here also you have the symbol of type A and then an additional symbol. All right, so where can we use the type F? In some applications, there may be composite residual currents ranging from a few hertz to 1000 hertz. For example, circuits with single phase motors being controlled by a variable speed drive. So, for such loads, the type F is required. And this type F can also withstand superimposed smooth DC residual currents up to 10 milliamp and it can also detect all the residual currents that can be detected by a type A RCD. So you realize that the type F can also work perfectly at places where the type A can work. But here, it has an advantage over the type A 
and the advantage being that it can also work on frequency controlled equipment. An example of some of these appliances are uh, appliances containing synchronous motors and motors that are controlled by using variable frequency drives. Okay, so now we are talking about the type B. All right, now let's look at circuits with a three-phase motor being controlled by a variable speed drive. This can include certain types of air conditioners, pumps, electric vehicle chargers, or medical equipment requiring high precision movement. In these cases, there can be residual current frequencies greater than 50 or 60 hertz, as well as non-residual component waveforms resulting from six pulse bridge rectifying circuits, and even smooth DC. In this case, a type B residual current device will be needed. And also, similar to the type F, the type B can withstand superimposed smooth DC residual current up to 10 milliamp as well as detecting all the residual currents that can be detected by the type F. All right, so in simple terms, the type B RCD can be used in circuits with three-phase electronic equipment. And then example of some of these equipment are inverters for speed control, UPS, EV charging, where DC fault current is greater than 6 milliamp, and then also in photovoltaic installations or solar installations. This information will guide you as to which particular RCD to choose for your next project. All right, so as I said, you use the symbols to identify the various types of RCDs. For instance, this is a type B RCD. It can perform the functions of type EC, type E, and then type F. And then, this is an example of a type EC RCD. All right, so now that is it. And that again brings us to the big question. So, for example, in a domestic installation, which type of RCD should I use for my wiring? All right, if I should tell you what type to use, then I will recommend type B. And that is because it can perform all the functions that all the others can perform, plus more. But you know, it comes at a very high cost. And in electrical wiring, you may not want to spend money for things that you don't really need and so the best advice is that you look at the loads involved in the wiring and then you choose the appropriate type of rcd that will help solve the problems that could arise from those loads nowadays most of our electrical appliances come with electronic parts and so for homes or for domestic installations the least type of rcd to consider should be the type a if you have individual loads that you are sure do not come with any electronic parts, you can connect your type AC to them. So in simple terms, you can only use type AC RCD when you are connecting loads without electronic parts. Thank you very much for watching. Stay connected.